For the last 40 years, Rab has become world renowned for its down products, whether it's jackets or sleeping bags. And this year, they've completely rechanged and revolutionized their whole range. So I'm here to tell you about it. For the last week, we've had some amazing weather in the Peak District. So we thought, great time to come and do it. And today, of course, it's chucking it down. So we've come up to Stanage and got into the well-known Robin Hood's cave where people like to have a sleep. Unfortunately, I didn't sleep here last night, but great place to show you this, especially as it's chucking it down out there. So over 40 years ago, Rab Carrington wasn't happy with the products that were on the market. So he started making his own down jackets and then he moved into sleeping bags. And everyone started saying, hey Rab, can you make me a jacket? So 40 years on, they're still making the highest quality down products on the market and they're still hand stuffed in the UK, actually here in Derbyshire. So Rab do a huge range of sleeping bags, but today we're gonna to concentrate on the Neutrino range because for her sit outside, it probably makes the most sense. But they also do synthetic bags. They also do the Ascent range. We also do the lightest things on the market like the Mythic and the Mythic Ultra, but there for another time, look into those, they're incredible. But this for us is a staple. So probably the first thing to understand about sleeping bags is the number they come with. So often you'll see a 200, a 400, a 600. And I've got here today a 400 and a 600. Now what that actually means is it's the amount of down in the bag. So this has 400 grams of 800 fill down. So those numbers you hear when you hear about fill power can go up to around 900 in Rab's sleeping bags. And that's really high lofty quality down. We've got 800 in here. But what that means, the higher the number doesn't necessarily mean it's a warmer bag or a warmer product. It just means it has more ability to loft. It has more ability to fill, more power to fill, fill power. So the higher the fill power, the less down you need to use to get the loft. So you get lighter, more packable for your warmth but also you get more and more expensive. And that's why they do a nice spread. Us here outside, we really love the 800 fill products because they're a great compromise between warmth, weight, packability, durability, without being extremely expensive. So the Neutrino range, this for us has pretty much always been the best seller. We've got the 200, the 400, the 600, both men's and women's, and this is the men's 400. So with most jackets and sleeping bags, what you'll normally see is you have to have baffles, obviously, so that the down doesn't migrate and go all over the place. So what they've done with this, instead of them going straight across like they normally do, they've done these chevrons. That's been done for quite a few reasons and it really helps with the warmth to weight ratio. So firstly, to get a sleeping bag of this length, normally you'd have to have about 13 different baffles. With the chevrons, you got down to about 10, I think. So that saves on stitching and materials, of course. Secondly, because of the shape of them as well, it actually stops the migration. So sometimes in the night in a normal baffled one, you might find if the down would shift to the side, and then you get cold patches. This really helps keep it in shape so it doesn't move as quickly. And the last really clever thing that I like is when you get a bag and you shake it out from after it's been in its stuff sack, you really want to loft the down up. So when you do shake it down the length of the bag, the chevron sort of push it right into the right area. It really keeps you nice and toasty. So something that's really clever that's going on inside the bag that you can't see is that the chevron baffles are actually trapezoidal, hard to say, box wall construction. So what that does is it means there's no cold patches and also it stops your heat getting out too quickly because Nothing's in a straight line because they're slightly offset. It means your heat, when it's coming up, hits a wall here and there. So it slows your heat down and keeps it in the insulation for a bit longer instead of a straight line where it can escape a bit quicker. Very clever, who thought of that? Another interesting thing to mention with the Neutrino range is they do a differential cut. Now that is quite confusing, just be told. What that means is the inner inside the 200, the 400, the 600, the 800 is all the same. So it will fit you, whether it's which one of those bags it is. What they do change is the outer layer. That's because obviously the 800 has more fill than the 200. So it has to have more space to loft and have more downput in it. But the inside, if you fit in a 200, you're gonna fit in an 800 and a 600 and a 400. They're all the same shape inside. I would say the Neutrino is what they call like an alpine cut. So it's not like big and roomy so you can roll around and have a good car camping snuggly night. What it's trying to do is not have too much dead space because you really want to be quite snuggish in a sleeping bag. Yeah, room to move, but any dead space can get cold and slower to warm up. So it's snug fitting, but at the same time, you can actually roll over. What they also like to think about is give you quite a bit of space in the footwell as well, because you don't want to squish your feet. If you squash baffles, there's no loft in them, you sort of lose the warmth. So there's a bit of space in there. Particularly on Alpine, you might want to shove your boots in the bottom as well to keep them warm. So one of the best things about this new range from Rab that we're really pleased to hear is that the outer is now 
completely recycled. And also the coating on it, the DWR, the durable water repellency they've used is fluorocarbon free. So this is a much more ethically sourced bag than things have been in the past in, compared to a lot of things in the market. And this is what a lot of people are really looking into and they should be these days. So the outer on this bag is Pertex Quantum. Now that's recycled as I just said, but what's really good about that is it, it's a great, great packable lightweight material that also is quite weatherproof, but it also breathes well. So if you're camping in a tent as well, you know, you don't get too clammy in there. We also do a range called the Neutrino Pro that has Quantum Pro on the outer. Now that's a slightly heavier, more robust fabric. It's also more weatherproof. So you might well want to consider one of those if you're maybe alpine climbing and you think you might get caught out and not in a tent and just bivy out in the wild, or you're gonna give it a bit of a hard time over the years. They have a little bit more weight to them, but because of the extra durability, I think you get more longevity and they trap a bit more hot air in. So maybe a bit less breathable, but a bit warmer as well. So of this range, how do you know which is the bag for you? So you get all the stats to figure that out yourself. So this bag weighs in at 775 grams and that gives you a comfort rating of minus seven. Now, don't be confused by comfort ratings. They always put three on the bag, just inside on the zip there. Now, that can be a bit confusing. So the first one they call comfort, which is minus one. And that means you'll have a nice night at minus one, not a problem. At minus seven, which is their limit of comfort, which is the one that most people would put as their main one. Um, that's when you'd probably maybe put some clothes on and you'll be okay. You might not be the best night suit, but everything will probably be all right. And then it gives you something like minus 25 as a I won't die extreme rating. I wouldn't recommend doing it at that, but you'll probably be okay in the long run, maybe not much sleep. So obviously if you go for a 600, it would have 600 grams of down in it. So it'd be warmer than this one. If you go for 200, it would be lighter and it would be cooler than this one because it only has 200. So it's about what's right for you. I think the 400 to 600 is usually what most people go for because you can use it year round, spring and summer. Whereas the 200 is really, really popular with lightweight backpacking and uh, sort of bike packing and things like that and adventure races as well. So something cool that Rab have done this time to show the difference between the warmth of the bag is they've changed the color coding of the chevrons. So what I've got here is a Neutrino 600 women's and this is Neutrino 400 men's. And so what you'll see is because this is cooler than this one, the dark blue line only comes to here. In a 600, it comes to here. An 800 would come further and a 200 would come further up. So it's quite clear when you're in the shop not to get the wrong one and figure out which one is yours. And also, if you own two different bags, you don't get them too confused too easily. So a few of the useful things you'll find in this is when you unzip the bag, nice and bright inside. So if you are trying to find something in there, you can actually see it a bit easier. You've got a nice little slot here. So that's useful for putting alarm clocks or phones if you're wanting to get up early for your alpine route. You need it near your head. You don't want it to disappear down the bag, but you also want to keep it warm so it keeps its battery. Really nice little baffle around here so you can snug yourself in and trap as much hot air in as possible. Obviously pull cord to put it in nice and snug around the face. They have a three quarter length zip so you can vent it down the bottom if you need, but your toes still stay toasty warm down there. With all the RAB sleeping bags, you get two storage bags. One sort of dry bag with a roll top lid. So that means you can take it on your adventures with you, stuffed right down the bottom, squeeze all the air out and vacuum pack it as small as you can. This will also keep your bag dry when it's in your, in your rucksack, whether it's from rain or your water bottle breaking. The last thing you want is a wet down bag when you get to your bivy. But also importantly, you always get a storage bag for at home as well. So it's a big loose storage bag. If you leave it in this one at home, the down learns to be squashed. It's fine for obviously, you know, your two, three day, maybe up to a week sort of backpacking trip. We're squashing it down in here, but at home you do want to leave it lofted up in this bag as well. And it also stops too much like damp getting to it if you're leaving it in a loft or a garage like most people do. So going back to the down that's in these bags, like we said, it's 800 fill, so really lofty and really warm, but it's also hydrophobic. So it's been treated with nick wax, so it can repel a bit of water. Obviously, normally down when it gets wet, it clumps up and loses its warmth and that's no good. Um, so this will help repel. It doesn't make it waterproof, but it does mean if any dampness gets in there, which it shouldn't do in your tent or whatever, uh, but if you get caught out, it will dry much quicker. It won't soak up much moisture, so it'll keep you warmer for longer. So this hydrophobic treatment they use on the down, that's also fluorocarbon free. That's what Nick Wax just do. So that the outer and the inner and its recycled fabrics, this is a really good eco step towards the way the world should be these days. Also, as expected, the down in there is RDS down. That's responsible down standard. If you want to look that up. You can see that 
anything involved in this has had a good life and it's probably been used in the food industry as well. But also if you're really vegan and you want to keep away from down, we have doing an incredible new range of synthetic bags as well. And so you can see those on our website as well. So there we have it, loads to think about, absolutely tons of bags to choose from. Good luck choosing one because it's a bit of a minefield, but they're all good quality, so you know it'll be okay. And ever since doing this, I've been dying to get in there, so I'm gonna have a little lie down. Mm -hmm.